We are going to present the Crestin project, a project funded with the Erasmus Plus program in the 2020 call, and which is based on the improvement of diversity gaps through the collection of projects and good practices in STEAM spaces. The consortium is made up of two Spanish universities, two local governments, one from Turkey and the other from Germany, two schools, one Turkish and one German, and an association of Italian schools as well as a series of associated schools that have already shown interest to participate in the project. The main objectives of Crestin project is mapping initiatives related to promoting STEAM and best practices among children and young people in order to address the diversity gap and develop a framework for the schools to implement effective activity packages to promote diversity in STEAM in collaboration with the communities and associations of a region. And the expected results of the team project is the creation of a complete guide and map of resources focused on the different lines of STEAM focused on diversity gap reduction and a guide to design, create and develop STEAM projects in a new concept of a specific laboratory, which we call the STEAM Lab. The Creastim project is a biannual project. As you can see in the work plan, in the first year, the training of teachers and the collection of good practices have been carried out, while in this second year, the STEAM spaces and projects within the schools will be implemented. To implement a STEAM project into schools, they need specific school infrastructure, a cultural change to achieve results, implementation in the curriculum of STEAM concepts, and instruction to teachers to be able to develop such projects and spaces. This is an example of the current mapping of tools and systems that can be implemented in the various types of spaces, such as FabLab, MediaLab, or UserLab. STEAM Lab incorporates any of them, though it is much more dynamic and will depend on the possibilities and capacities of each school. In a Fab Lab or Maker Space, we are talking about a prototyping area, a design area, an electronics implementation area, or a 3D printing area. Hence, they are more static spaces that need a classical infrastructure. When a school cannot provide a fab lab or maker space infrastructure, it can apply a media lab. This is a much more dynamic space where collaboration, design, and even the use of laptops or mobile digital systems allow a more different and more dynamic interaction. Besides, when it is needed a space for usability testing and user experience research, is to say, to execute processes focused on the user, we are in front of what would be the user lab space, where interactions and emotions are measured and user-focused prototypes can be generated. In summary, depending on the space or the type of space that can be created, what can be done is, one, to mix different tools depending on whether a fab lab maker space is chosen, two, use a much more flexible media lab with digital applications, or three, use a user lab in which interaction with the user prevails over the technology or the equipment available to the school. Logically, it is something that each school evaluates depending on their infrastructure. A STEAM Lab is a space in which a series of works, projects and initiatives will converge, which must comply with some basic premises, emphasis on STEAM subjects, interdisciplinary instruction, ideas for the challenges coming from society, and they have to promote a range of skills for equality and social inclusion. Also, in a STEAM Lab, we have to apply technology. It has to be a separate space from those usual classrooms and students have to be from different groups and some learning have to be done inside that STEAM lab, so using methodologies and evaluation. The Kerstin project is an active one and is open to anyone interested in receiving more information. If you are interested in collaborating or participating in the project, please contact us. Thank you very much for your attention.